a big moment in a child's life is becoming old enough to need a cell phone for emergencies or to coordinate pickup drop off to and from places. An equally big moment in a parent's life is finding the right phone for that child. You want them to have everything they need, but you fully understand this phone has a high likelihood of being lost or broken. So buying them the newest thousand plus dollar phone just isn't reasonable. So introducing the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G, a $200 phone that might just be the answer to our parenting prayers, but is it good enough to be a child's emergency phone? Is it better and capable of doing so much more? Let's find out together. As far as specs go, the A14 comes in black as its only model color, and it has a plastic body. This may not sound appealing to most, but when you are worried about a child dropping a glass encased phone and needing an expensive replacement, I welcome the plastic. It has four cameras, three on the back, one selfie camera on the front. The front camera is a 13 megapixel, while the three on the back are 50 megapixel, and then a set of two megapixel cameras, one for depth and one is a macro camera. It has a 1080p resolution on a 6.6 .6 inch display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. So it isn't gonna be as fast as other more expensive phones, but it does have an adaptive mode for scrolling text and for the animations we see swiping between apps. It has a single speaker, so no stereo sound, unless of course you plug headphones into the jack. There is one of the things this cheaper phone has that most flagship phones have lost, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Personally, I miss having them, so this was a nice addition to me. The phone has 64 gigabytes of internal storage with the option of adding up to one terabyte in a micro SD card, which is another feature I wish the more expensive phones still had. One thing as a parent I do like about this phone is that it does include NFC or near field communication, which is technology that basically means you can use Google Wallet or something like that for contactless payments. I like the idea of having an emergency credit card saved onto the phone so that if my kid were to need money for food or an Uber in an emergency, they wouldn't be stranded without. Again, I'd rather my kids not have a card on them that they can lose or have stolen, but having it on the phone is a really great peace of mind for me. Now, one thing that many new phone reviews skip out on is the actual phone feature itself. I'm guilty of this with some of my phone reviews on the channel, but honestly, most people just don't talk on the phone anymore. But with that said, if this is a true emergency phone, I wanna make sure that I'm able to hear my kid if they call me and need my immediate assistance. So with that said, let's check it out. So as you can see, if your child were to call you on their phone, this is what it would sound like on your end. You be the judge on how the audio sounds. So it's very important to be able to hear your child and understand what they're saying in an emergency. So this is what it's going to sound like from your child's phone to your phone. Now let's see what it sounds like the other side of things. And just as important as you hearing your child, it's very important that they can hear what you say in case you need to give them directions or tell them where to go, give them some help or whatever it may be. So it's very important that they can understand you too. And this is what it's gonna sound like on their end when you're talking to them. What do you think of this? Leave a comment down below what you think of the audio quality for phone calls. Now, let's get back to the rest of the video. Something really helpful with this phone is that Samsung has announced that it will provide two years of software updates as well as five years of security updates for this phone. Many cheaper models only give one software update and three years of security, so this is a big bonus for the A14. It'll be usable for much longer than the older models, and one can probably be operable long enough for a kid to save up and buy a fancier phone if they wish one when this one dies. So with that being said, that about does it up for this video. I hope you've gotten some value out of it. If you wouldn't mind too much, please consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out a lot. If you wanted to purchase this phone after watching this video, I do have a link in the description where you can get one for yourself or for your teenager. Until the next video, thanks again for watching. Love you guys, bye.